What is going on, everybody? I'm Mike Canalupo. A huge shout out to the 13,000, well, almost 13,000 of you guys who voted in our latest list poll on Twitter. Make sure to follow us on Twitter here if you haven't so that you can vote in our next list poll and you can get the content that you want from our channel. Today, we're talking about the 10 greatest hits in NFL history. Now, before I begin, this is the 10 best singular hits in NFL history, not the best hitters in NFL history, because that would be a totally different list. I know you're gonna be upset if you don't see somebody like Ronnie Lott or, or, or John Lynch or Brian Dawkins in this list. And yes, it is completely subjective. And no, Lawrence Taylor breaking Joe Theismann's leg is not on here because I cannot stand watching it. All right, fine, I'll put it up right now. Oh, and you see the right knee, the right foot, and I... Happy. Number 10, Keith Byers on Pepper Johnson. I like this one because it's one of the only blocks we have on here. <laughs> okay, Keith, we see you. Pepper Johnson didn't see you, but we see you. I actually got laid out like this once. Ninth grade football. I, I was honestly just happy for the dude. Number nine, Darrell Reed on Chris Henry. Chris Henry was a shifty, fast dude for the Tennessee Titans, and he was the kick returner. A lot of crazy things, including a dislocated shoulder for me, happen on kick returns. Watch. Chris Henry. Oh, what a shot. It's almost like the split second that it happens, Chris Henry knows what's about to happen to him. Number eight, Ray Lewis on Dustin Keller. I could have put so many Ray Lewis hits on this list, but I settled for the one against 275 pound Dustin Keller. Take a look. Sanchez throws middle, what a shot by Lewis. On Big shout out to Mark Sanchez for throwing that suicide pass to make it all happen for us. Can you imagine trying to catch a pass in the middle of the field, knowing Ray Lewis is right there? Oh my God. Number seven, Cam Chancellor on Vernon Davis. When Vernon Davis went up for this, he might've thought that he was gonna end up in the end zone. Instead, he's never been the same player since. They called a penalty on this, but I, I think maybe they were just shocked at how far Vernon Davis went, and, and I guess Cam Chancellor, it was somewhat a defenseless receiver, and Cam Chancellor leaped to hit him, but come on, that's football, baby. That's football. Number six, Steve Largan on Mike Harden. This one's good because of the backstory that goes along with it. One, Steve Largan and Mike Harden hated each other. They were bitter, bitter enemies and the play before this happened there was a brawl on the field intercepted by hard oh, number five steve atwater on christian okoye you have to remember that at this point okoye was running through NFL defenses like crazy. Nobody knew how to stop the 260 some odd pound running back. Yeah, right. yeah. Good try, baby. <laughs> Number four, Nate Clements destroys Tom Brady. Still run people down. Brady in trouble. Here comes the rush, and here's the hit. Oh, man, a lot. Oh, man, I really wish that Tom guy had a better NFL career. Number three, Rodney McLeod on Emmanuel Sanders. Some of you will say that this is dirty. I don't see a single dirty thing about it. Separation. Oh, big hit. Sanders gets walloped by McLeod. No hit on the helmet. Perfectly clean. Why they called the penalty? That's today's NFL for you. Number two, Sean Taylor on Brian Mormon in the Pro Bowl. First off, 
it would have been incredible to see what Sean Taylor would have been able to produce in the rest of his NFL career. But while he was here, he produced some of the best football anybody's ever seen, even in the Pro Bowl. Ryan Mormon is going to fake it on the run, and he's going to come up short. Oh! That's the toughness of Sean Taylor. I love it. It's the Pro Bowl against a punter, but he does not give a flying Yeah, I said it. Number one, Sheldon Brown on Reggie Bush. Let this serve as your daily reminder that you had more rushing yards than Reggie Bush last season. Boom! Oh my God! Oh! Oh. What other hit do you think deserved to be on this list? A huge shout out to the 100 plus of you guys who commented on my Twitter, giving me suggestions as to what the best hit should be. I know I left a couple of these out. Go look at them yourselves. Go look at some compilation videos. We're gonna get to the best hitters of all time in no time. So subscribe to us if you haven't yet because we put out videos every single day. Until next time, I'm Mike Canalupo. Thanks so much for watching.